our first date, which lasted a whole weekend, <laughs> which is ridiculous. We ended up talking all night. Neither of us were interested in sex, and I was not interested in sex because I don't understand how it's intimate. It made me feel more disconnected from the people I was with. It's like fine. It's a lot of work. It's kind of sticky. Um, Levi really hates sticky. Least favorite. Yeah. Since everybody that I've met that's asexual is different, you have to just talk about it and ask what someone's comfortable with, what they're not comfortable with. I have another crush. Person. Person. Thing. Thing. That means that I have another person that I talk to every day that I have feelings for who knows about it. And Levi has always known that. The fact that I can talk to my partner about another person is the way that polyamory is in our relationship. It literally just means that you're able to like love or be in a relationship with multiple people. So I came out to my parents actually on Christmas with all of my family and so I like got some note cards and I wrote up what I was going to say. My uncle started like verbally like abusing me and like said basically they weren't going to call me by the name that is mine and that they weren't going to use my pronouns. I found out my mom had the cancer um, in September of last year. I think my mom has always taken my like gender nonconformity like extra hard. Like my dad didn't really care, but my mom like always took it really hard that I didn't want to be like really feminine and wear dresses and like do makeup or stuff like that. Do you ever worry that if your mom is seriously sick and you don't go home in time, you'd never see her again? <laughs> 